Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where I'm trying out something a little bit different. I've got this idea of taking real life zoo habitats and enclosures, what you can go and visit in real life, and then replicating them in Planet Zoo the game. Depending on if there's enough positive feedback on this video, I will make this into a series so you can mark this as the first episode. If you do want to see more episodes like this and you like the idea of this concept of videos, then hit that like button down below. The first real life habitat I will be recreating in Planet Zoo is going to be at the Weymouth Sea Life Adventure Park based in Dorchester in the United Kingdom. And it's one of the brand new habitats for the adorable Asian short clawed otter. And it happens to be that the short clawed otter is one of the new animals released in the new Wetlands Animal Pack DLC. And you can see me just in the video now, just creating the actual outside barrier and the outside walls of the habitat itself. But before we go any further, I'm going to skip forward to the main, well, one of the many viewing areas. And that was made by this lovely glass barrier. I tried to keep this as close as possible to actual habitat itself in real life. It was quite difficult, I'm not going to lie. I had to build this little um, custom building here to house like an indoor viewing area kind of thing. And a little window so our guests can peek out of and get another aspect of another kind of view. And then I built this custom little roof to go on top. Again, I couldn't get it exact to how it was in real life. So I just kind of went with the floor. And then I scrapped that idea and redid the roof. That's it. Uh, recreating stuff in real from real life can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but a lot of patience and perseverance, and you can end up looking like this. And this is how the roof came out looking, and I'm really happy with it. And then let's go to work on the actual kind of what would you call it? Moat, pond, um, mini river. I don't know. And decided to actually build a water fountain leading into this moat as well, which is not in the real life variant of this habitat, but. I wanted it in game like I said I'm gonna put my own twist and my own little feel on it but before we go any further um, I just want to mention a big thank you to someone on Facebook who actually posted an image of the real-life habitat um, kind of like challenging people who, who have got quite a lot of experience playing Planet Zoo to try to recreate and I thought that would be a brilliant video idea for my channel and I went I absolutely fell in love with the habitat itself when I actually saw it so if you're watching it thank you very much it was on Facebook it was on Planet Zoo PC community I won't pop up the post or anything like that because I've not asked you for permission for it but yeah thanks again for sparking my inspiration and yeah, thanks for the idea. And I really enjoyed in creating this as well. And and this is it's, it's some like I said before, it's something I've what well, I've, I've never really done. I've never really created something from in real life. I've took reference images and created habitats of my own from certain reference reference images, uh, mainly building wide, but a whole habitat and tried to get it as close as possible to the original real life variant. It, it it was something I've never done before, but I'm glad I have now because I did enjoy doing it. And even though it is quite difficult to try to get things exact, you got to remember it's not always going to be as exact. We have got limitations. We have only got certain building pieces what we can try to use within Planet Zoo. And I think it comes out looking pretty close to the real life variant of this habitat. Um, and, and by the way, if you want this habitat, you can download it. My workshop link is in the description below. So if you want to pop this in your own zoo or if you've actually visited this zoo in real life, I'm not sure if this habitat is open yet because it is brand new. But if you have visited this zoo where it is or if you've been quick and gone to see this new habitat, is it like it? Have I pulled it off? And is it a good habitat? Is it a good zoo? Have you been? Tell me about it. I would love to know more about it. Drop a comment in the comment section below. You can see I just fast forwarded there to where all the stones were placed in, which was a, another bit of a pain in the ass and took much longer than I thought it would do. And it was time to go on to like a little hard shelter for the animals here. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's just for appearance purposes, really. Um, why they've included it in, a, in the real life habitat but I wanted to obviously recreate it and then 
I'm trying to figure out how the best to do the stepping stones towards it here and it's quite simple I just use these stepping stones and I do use the terrain tool to um, raise some of the ground at the side of it because that's what it looks like in the real life one and yeah a lot of a lot of brickwork and not a lot of foliage actually um, I always said that foliage really makes or breaks habitat but I wanted it to keep it as, as, as realistic as possible to you know to give credit to the the real life variant i know i keep saying real life variant but you, you i think you understand what i mean there wasn't a lot of foliage in it so i didn't put a lot of foliages in it seeing me just fiddling around with this blimmin floor now this wood floor just using a rotational trick um and just trying to get that wood floor in realized it's too small so i needed to put like a little outside rim around it just to fill in the gaps and it makes it actually look a little bit more realistic which i promise it wasn't my intention but it did pay off in the end now let's move on to the roof which again was a little bit fiddly but we do end up pulling it out of the park and again it's not exact replica of the actual real life variant because it was just becoming impossible to get it as accurate as i wanted it unfortunately but i created my own little kind of like roof here i just rotated these pieces which without these pieces i probably wouldn't have even been able to create this habitat and then the back of the habitat and this kind of like kind of looks like a japanese style um building um I created it again i'm not too sure on the actual ideas behind the the creators of the real life variant but um it it does look good and it does go with the asian themed um obviously asian theme because it's the asian small clawed otter so it makes sense this is how it came out looking in the end you can see that little um hard shelter ended up creating earlier a little bit earlier on in the video i changed the colors because it wasn't blue it was red i looked back at the reference images and saw that it was red so i thought oops i better change that and now for adding the bridge and luckily our lovely otters can actually traverse all the way through this habitat so they can go on the stones in most importantly they can go over this adorable little bridge over the water um, i have to take the water out which i never advise doing once the water is in i would advise keeping with that water in the amount of times i took water out and then i can't get it back in honestly if you're building something with water just keep it in um, I, I know what i'm doing i've got over a thousand hours in planning zoo don't mean to sound big headed but yeah um and then another viewing area this is actually something of my own design this is not in the real life one and but i wanted it in my one i wanted like how would i describe this a bit like a children's section i thought the indoor area is more for adults the the viewing point is quite high up you've got the main glass area which is gonna get overcrowded because it's only a small area for a zoo uh, but I wanted to create something what was specialised for children. I've got a child of my own, I've got a little boy, he's six years old, and I thought he would love something like this. He would love to have a little window of his height or where he can just bend down a little bit, but adults can't get down there, if that makes sense. So I added this little curved window, um, and I'm glad I did because it came out looking pretty good and gave it a different variant. Of viewing areas throughout the habitat now let's fast forward to me in real time fast forward a little bit and boom the habitat is complete our actual asian small clawed um, otters are in the habitat they're happy they've got everything they want and need apart from a little bit of depth of the water but you can always alter that if you want to download this and if you do want to download this then obviously the workshop link is in the description down below but yeah, they're in. There's actually one currently swimming around here. Just having a little chilled swim. Very happy how this came out. Again, like I've said before, this is uh, taken from an actual real habitat. A new habitat within a zoo. And I, I took inspiration for it. Made it my own a little bit. Added, obviously, this little water fountain wasn't in the original um, zoo habitat. But I just thought it worked really well. Let's have a look at everything looks as a whole. As you can see, we've got a... A little um what would you call it a little indoor shelter a little hard shelter for our 
um, otters here and then we've got another little hard shelter kind of here and a little bedding area where our otters can sleep so they can get some privacy we've got this little bridge what they can traverse they can traverse all the way inside this habitat and luckily they cannot escape this habitat as well so that worked out quite well we've got one viewing area here for our guest as well as a little viewing area if they was to go in here like that and then they can see out of this little window here and I created another little viewing area here and added a little habitat, ent uh, not entertainment, education screen, sorry. Um, so we got like like a little kids, would you call it? Like a children's um, viewing area, what they can see here, the more smaller people. And you can step up here on these steps and see above as well. We've got a little uh, education added in as well as speakers on the inside. So this is ready to go and rock and roll if you do want to download it. Um, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. This concludes the end of the video now and the end of this habitat build. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.